What is up guys, President Clash here. Welcome to another video. And if you guys look at my screen correctly, I am yes in Arena 6. I'm currently sitting at 1716 trophies. And in today's Clash Royale video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the replays that are uh, some of the attacks I did in order to get to Arena 6. So it was, it's been a long journey and I'm really happy that I have made it to Arena 6 because now I am able to unlock the Sparky or the Miner. Not really interested in the miner, but I do like the Sparky, the Ice Wizard, and the Lava Hound. Unfortunately, I have no legendaries at this point. And I kinda, I, that kind of really sucks for me, but I'm doing my best to get them. Hopefully, I'll end up getting them soon. And uh, before I start showing you guys the replays, if you guys want to enter a giveaway for, uh, if you guys want to enter an iTunes giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and leave a like basic requirements if you forget what to do it's showing up on the screen right now and yeah let's get started so starting off I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, the replay that got me into arena 7 so I believe it was this one and it was actually really close but not close enough it was a three crown victory to a two crown we were both level 7 as you guys can see if you can see at the top of his deck he has a very interesting deck um he does have a rocket it's a good thing that he didn't spam the rocket like most uh, rocket users. So he catches me by surprise with a balloon. I actually kind of hate balloons, and that and that archer placement was just terrible. He puts he puts the rocket down. That rocket destroys my archers, and that balloon gets a bit of damage done to my tower. So that's a bit of, that's a bit unfortunate. I drop my bomber next. Uh, I'm not sure what he's gonna drop. Maybe he's gonna drop barbarians. But I'm preparing to go for my push, so I'm gonna drop my giant and then the Valkyrie right in behind. It's probably one of the best pushes you could do, the Valkyrie, Bomber, and uh, Giant. Also put some Severe Goblins in there, and he's gonna drop something right now. Yeah, he's gonna drop Barbarians, a very fatal mistake. The Valkyrie plus Bomber are literally gonna always destroy the Barbarians. So my Giant is destroying the tower. My Giant now just died, but we have that Valkyrie just dis doing damage on that tower, destroying it to only 120 health left on that tower. So at this point, I feel like I have it in the bag, but I can't say that for sure because it's only 1 minute and 48 seconds left. He drops a Hog Rider. Um, I, I didn't know what type of troops he had in his deck, so he does put a freeze, a terrible place freeze, I'll say that. Then I go in with my counter push. Um, so I go with a, a Goblins and a Bomber on the, left, on the right side, and then I have my Giant on the left side. We're going to get that tower for sure, and I do put a Zap on those minions just... To, uh, in case they come back toward my base so I can easily take them out. So uh, it's pretty clear to me that with one Hog Rider push, he's going to be able to take out my base without a problem. So at this point, I just have to prepare for a second push on the next side of his base. He throws down, uh, what is it, a balloon. So he put the zap, and unfortunately that balloon's going to get a bunch of damage done. I say wow, because um, I'm pretty disappointed my balloon got through. I put my giant in that little corner area. That's where usually royal giants like to go. But I put my regular giant there, and he just took his, uh, what is it, tower out. And at this point, uh, point, I realized I could take his tower out easily due to the fact that he wasted his rocket on taking out my tower. He was tight on elixir, so that was my advantage. I dropped a route Valkyrie on the Hog Rider. Unfortunately, that was actually a really good place freeze. So now, at this point, I'm literally doing... I'm, I have this in the bag. It's already two towers to one. And I'm literally just gonna, you know, go for that three crown at this point. His tower only has 879 health. So, there we go. Uh, we got a few wizards in here. Unfortunately, this small push is not gonna be enough to get uh, destroyed. But right now, the wizard is gonna finish it off. Oh, yeah, the freeze. I forgot. Yeah, unfortunately that freeze is going to stop my little attack. With only 124 health left, uh, it's going to be pretty easy as soon as we get rid of these barbarians. Just need to place down uh, some troops. I'm going to put the Valkyrie and the Bomber down. And that Bomber should be able to destroy the base. Easy peasy. Right there, guys. So that was actually pretty good. So now we're going to move on to the, section, the next replay. I'm actually going to speed that one up just to save some time. So that was actually pretty good guys, uh, if you guys want to see my video about this deck, uh, link is going to be the first link in the description below, so you guys can click that video about this deck. <clears throat> so now going down, let's watch uh, I believe this one, this one was a 2 crown to 0, so this one was very excellent. I'm not, I forgot how it went, but let's just see how it goes. By the way, this is not a live commentary, I'm doing this commentary over the footage. 
just if you guys want to know. Sometimes I do a lot of commentary, sometimes I do this style. So we're both at full elixir and he puts a giant down. So I put a bomber on the left side because first of all, he's probably going to do a huge push on the left side as soon as this giant reaches the, uh, on my side of the base and, or my side of the, you know, map. So he puts a wizard down, which is really unfortunate. Uh, giant wizard is one of the best combos out there, uh, especially at this arena level in arena five. Uh, before I was in Arena 6, so unfortunately that was that happened, but we did manage to get rid of the cannon health, so that was pretty good. So I dropped my wizard right there, and uh, basically my wizard is going to take out the rest of these barbarians, uh, most of it at least. Uh, one barbarian gets one small little hit, so at this point I'm preparing for my next push. He's a little bit tight on Elixir due to the fact that I just destroyed his push, um, so we're going to see what he's going to do. Uh, so I draw my giant right there, and then I draw my Valkyrie, a simple push. Unfortunately, this push doesn't uh, defend against air, and he's uh, trying desperately to, you know, try to defend. Obviously, at this point, my Valkyrie is hitting the cannon, my giant is at the tower. He's kind of screwed at this point. The tower has two health, and it's about to go down once the freeze ends. There we go. And that bomber is going to be able to take out that wizard without a problem, which is awesome. So now, at this point, again, look at his elixir disadvantage he is down by elixir compared to me i am almost at a full bar most of this raid most of the attacks i do i'm always at elixir advantage because i always uh, successfully defend against the enemy and they just really can't get to me so unfortunately i ruined this guy's day because he was also trying to get to a uh, uh, arena six and unfortunately he was unable to due to the fact that i um uh, stopped him so i put some uh i tried to defend against this giant and wizard and now on the left side, I put my, uh, what is it, giant down and I put a Valkyrie. So I'm pretty confident in this. I put a, a little goblin, or sorry, spear goblins on the bottom. And now I have this huge push going on right here. And my Valkyrie is still alive by a little bit of health. Unfortunately, that's not really going to do much. But we're going to get that the tower down to about, what, 400 health. I'm going to speed this up. And look at this. He does another hog rider push. Uh, that was pretty good, but it did not get my tower down. Once again, I'm doing the push, and now it's two crown to zero, and the game is in the bag. I won it without a problem, and I could have even gotten a three crown if I got the second tower earlier. But anyways, that was pretty good, guys. I'm the winner, and I am now in arena six. So I was wondering if should I um if I should um what is it? I was wondering if I should buy. Uh, $10 of gems. I do have an iTunes gift card. I could give it away give it away to you guys Which I already am doing but I, I could also use one for myself and buy si uh, Three magical chests because I already have 411 gems I don't know. We'll have to see and wait for that. But anyways, thanks for watching guys If you guys enjoyed that uh, this little video if you guys want to see more uh, Well, you're lucky because I have daily uploads for the rest of this week. See ya